everyone today we're going to separate a mixture of sand and salt so let's look at the apparatus and material that we'll be using so we have a conical flask filter funnel we have filter paper the beaker with the sand the glass rod or the stirring rod a measuring cylinder and of course our wash bottle then we have our salt right here so inside this beaker we do have some sand and salt but i want you to be very clear about what is happening i'm just going to add some more salt in there so we now have our mixture of sand and salt in the beaker so you need to make your observations and write down what you're seeing the color of the sand the salt just write down what you're seeing right now Okay, in your procedure, you should add about 20 or 30 cm cubes of water. I have 30 cm cubes of water measured here, so I'm going to pour it in the mixture. If I pour the water in the mixture, what do you think will happen? Will the salt dissolve or will the sand dissolve? What do you see happening? So I have to mix well. We are creating a suspension. Make sure that you're taking note of the observations. So now, we, now that we've created the suspension and it is settling, we now need to do a filtration to remove the sand from the salt water solution. I'm currently folding my filter paper. I've already done a video showing you how to properly fold the filter paper. So I've created my pockets and I'm going to now insert the filter paper that's folded into the funnel I'm simply wetting it so that it sticks to the funnel so that's pure water just dripping in the conical flask right now I'm going to now pour and this is decanting I'm going to pour the salt water solution or mixture into the filter paper inserted in the funnel. What I'm doing now causes a more controlled flow. So I'm directing the flow of the liquid into the filter paper, which is of course inserted in the funnel. Make observations. So you need to note the color of the liquid in the filter funnel right now and also the color of the liquid that's traveling through the funnel and dripping into the conical flask and that liquid is called a filtrate. So now pause the video and towards the end We'll see what happens. The filtration has finished, so I want you to take note of what is inside of the filter funnel, and that's referred to as a residue on the paper. So take note of it. You need to write what you're seeing there. Also, you need to take note of the filtrate, and that's the solution in the conical flask. So if I remove this now, because I know that there's a reflection from the filter funnel in the solution. So you should be seeing a colorless solution. If when you're carrying out this experiment to the lab, it appears um, pale brown, then you just simply need to refilter it. 
So this is the end of your experiment. And the other aspect to it now would be to evaporate this sodium chloride solution to recover the salt. And I've already done that video for you, so you now need to watch that video so you can see how it is that you recover the sodium chloride from the solution. See you for the next video. Bye.